Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back in subsistence. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your support. And yes, we are back, back, back. And a lot of you have actually asked this one question, and you can pause this game, by the way. You can. Looking at the keyboard right there, you'll see a pause, break, and button. You can click on that, and that will pause your game. I'm just going to bring it up because I know a lot of people have asked that question, and I just figured I'd put it out in a video so that way we know we have it. That's great. So actually, I'm going to upgrade my shotgun one more level. Just double-checking the grounds to make sure there's no problems. We've now closed off most of our base. Uh, well, closed off. There's still ways in and out, of course. There's no locked door on that back end side here. But it's okay. We're we're pretty solid. I think we're doing okay. I haven't seen the hunters climb up there yet. Maybe Cool Games will do that one day. But right now, the hunters are at bay. That's kind of nice. Uh, we're actually going to go and do... Uh, spin around in circles. No, we're actually going to do is turn this on here. We're going to need to get some copper going. We are using a lot of different materials. And copper is now with all the upgrades we're doing, and I need to do a little more. Uh, we do have a lock pick also. I do need to do a little more on actual... Do I have potassium more here? That's odd. I, I never I never realized I was there. All right, I must have dropped it off really quick. Uh, but yes, we're going to make our way to actually doing a upgrade on the shotgun one more time. Which is much needed. I think it takes circuits. I think it's six. And then... Uh, I don't remember. I think five or six here, too. It's possible. I don't remember by heart what the next level was. Let's open this up. Let's drop our shotgun and see if I'm right or wrong. Oh, I need gun parts. That's what it is. Gun parts. Uh, it's actually not this. It's gun parts. It's six gun parts. Ten circuit boards. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. Shift click right into here. We'll do 10 and six of you, which we have tons of, so we have no problems. Uh, these gun parts, too. Some people have been in asking, Where do you get those? Well, I get those off Hunter's crates at their base, or you can also get them in lock crates. So, tons of them out there. We're gonna upgrade this. This gives us firepower. This gives us about 20 percent, I think it is 25 percent. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see how it exactly it is. Right now, we're at 80 percent on these ones. These are both completely up and out of us. As you can see, firepower is the red ticks on top. The little green ones here are actually the uh, ammo ones here, the clip size. So you can get more clips. Uh, we can actually do it again if we want to, 500 power and reload speed, which would be really nice on some of these two. But we actually never got to see color reload speed. I never do it. How much power do I have? I think I have enough power if I run the generators. Uh, yeah, we do have enough power. Let's just grab a stack. like that. That should be okay. And we're going to use copper. Right, we're going to do clip side on this one. And then we're going to do a reload speed. I want to see what the actual... <laughs> I never think I've ever did it before. I have no idea where that dot's going to go. Maybe on the top right here. I don't think I've ever done reload speed before. And uh, it's funny, after all this time, I'm, I'm debating... Should I put it actually on a reload? On the SVT instead? I'm thinking that's where I'm going to do it. All right, shotgun is done. SVT, upgrade reload speed. Yes. I'm very curious. That's actually going to be very interesting. All right, let that go. Let that go. That's good. That's good. We're not going to use any more power than we have to. We're going to let the generators roll. We also have our solar panels up and running. And we do have to place another one, but we're going to do that when we get back. We have no time in the current state to go. We need to get moving. That's our SVT. It's all primed and ready to go. We do have, still have a one lock pick on us, which is great. I was going to make another one, but all the upgrades we just did, I think it's primo. Look at that. All right, there's a dot. It's like a little blue dot right on the bottom of that. Interesting. I wonder where it goes from here, maybe on this side? Or does it go right on top of the picture? Very curious. Uh, <laughs> I'm always wondering how that's going to work out. All right, let's get that rolling. That's good. How are you doing? You're pulling out enough power. 0.75, we're gaining power. Yes, we are. We're doing good on that. And we actually have some copper and some potassium rolling. That is phenomenal. We need to stockpile on those. We're doing a little better on ore. I'm just going to double check to see how the levels are. That's plenty. We're going two generators. That'll move us up pretty high up. We should be okay for power-wise. I did not check on a rabbit fang to see if he's hungry or not. How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Pretty shitty, actually. Uh, food and water are halfway. Not sure you'd make it back in time. We do have our water going here. That's nice. Seven of them. Perfect. Uh, but to make sure that he doesn't waste all our water, 
We're gonna throw at least a tomato inside of the food. A tomato is probably the best, most nutritious part of uh, what he can eat, if you wanna look at it that way. We're gonna push this up, just move our water perfect, and we're gonna drop the rest in the water. That way it can serve us. It took two water to bring that up. The rest of those, we can actually put chocolate bars and stuff later on if we want to. It'll be plenty fine. There's another water that's coming out. So that water pump is definitely good. How much is coming in and out? We're now 1.14 out. Electricity 3.44 in. And we can harness 4,000 and hold 4,000 in our power. And 300 mass currently. Which is more enough to do all the upgrades we need in the current state. So we're good. We have enough bandages. We have enough supplies. We are ready to go. Feeling confident we can leave now. And let's go and hunt it. Let's go and find some lock crates. Let's go and find some crates and get ourselves back in action and uh, getting ourselves rolling. Now, we do need to knock out some trees too, but I'll try and do some of that off camera. I didn't want to do too much of it because I wasn't sure if the attacks would occur. And I don't want to do half recording where I'm jumping in and going, oh my god, wait, here he goes. Another attack. Uh, I wanted to just kind of start the day and get rolling. And for us to just kind of chill together. Enjoy this game. If you guys are brand new to this, this is one developer called Cold Games who created this entire game. So go back and watch the entire series. You'll see how he's progressed and you'll see the caliber of the developer he is. All right, let's go up here. There we go. Perfect. Dink. There we go. Perfect. Come on. Hit the hit side. There we go. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it don't. It's all good. Just need those ores as much as possible. I'm curious to see what the reload speed is different on this gun. Oh, I just press R. I'm so used to seven days to die. Um, actually, if I hover over this, it should tell me. 50% uh, faster. And this gives me one extra bullet. This gives me two extra rounds. And this is now 40% firepower increased. And one extra round. Which means, yes, we should reload that baby up. Love the sound of shotgun. Love it. Could be a lock crate up there, but we're just going to hover over where I can see some more crates. Follow the loot of crates. And right now, it seems to be pretty good. We only see one bear. I have not seen a wolf. Yes, I saw that rabbit. It's too late by the time he's gone. He might still be hovering on that area over here if you run too far then he's worthwhile oh there he is got him and we get some cloth out of him and meat which is extremely helpful uh don't need any feathers right now so i'm not going after chickens i won't waste the arrows right now we have 22 arrows we're doing pretty good we are doing pretty darn good oh there's our first wolf he's out in a boat he didn't see us we're not going to bother with him, but there is ore sometimes on the side of this hillside here. We're just going to double check. There is one over there on the left. And nothing across here, so let's go and pick that up. Oh, and there's a wolf right there. What level are you? 33. Iron versus wolf. Wolf versus iron. Uh, it's not really worth the trade-off. Unless he walks that direction, then that's good. Oh, we got the second growl. Shit. We might have to take him down. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. Let's take him down. Let's test out our new shotgun. Nice. Nice and sturdy. Kind of didn't really want to get into a fight with him. But uh, the iron is really that important. And I'm doing a trade-off. And plus, we got some biofuel. That's excellent. I'll have myself a little snack here. Raw meat is probably better off. Well, it's not probably. It is better off to cook it. But for what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to accept it. It did bring me back up to full health. Yes. It would be good if I brought some fruits. But we do have our juice, which is our water blueberry juice. Oh, it's potassium. Oh, well, still a good trade-off. I do need potassium. Not as good as iron would have been. But I'll accept it. I'm not seeing very many crates at all. This is iron. That's not good enough. We'll double check to see. Here we go. That's scrap metal. I know I've had a, some questions about that. That's what scrap metal looks like. It's on the ground. You kind of see it after playing it a long period. 
And again, if you're starting off on easy mode, which is the best way, if you get this game brand new, don't think normal mode is worth it at the beginning. It's just going to ruin your... Wow, the wolves are all over the place. Uh, you're going to ruin the way you feel for the game. You might actually not want to play it. I do easy mode, no hunters. Start it off fresh, and then move yourself up slowly. And hunters, when you feel comfortable in that mode, then move yourself up to normal. Hardcore is really what it is. It's extremely hardcore. Yes, I like to switch my guns up, I think. Too much. All right, move up, chicken. Move, move, move. Run. Run, chicken. If I catch you, I swear to God, I'm going to eat you. Raw chicken is very good for you. Oh, you bounced off the tree. That was too funny. I could have caught him. I was not expecting him to actually hit the tree. Came close. Can catch him. Press F. You bang. You grab him. Good way to get some food without having to use any resources. I'm debating to go back up here. Uh, okay, maybe not around that way. We'll go around this way. Yeah, yeah, just just be quiet, please, Bear. Just be quiet. Let's go up here. Let's avoid the brush so we can see clearly. Especially up a hillside like this, easily you can walk into a, a grizzly, a wolf or anything. Very easily. I always find loot crates around this area, but usually at dusk... Oh, there's a grizzly. Speaking about the devil... Figured he would want to pop up and say hi. There's a chicken over there. There's my favorite tree to hit up. Six logs, no matter what. And there's a lock crate right there. Look at that. Pure luck or what? This area is prime. Now, it doesn't mean your load is going to be exactly the same. I don't know if the position of your base has any effect to it, but definitely I've always hit them up here. base here I didn't see very many lock rates up here so I think it's a positioning of where your base is but yet again I have no idea what the mechanic is and how Colgate put it together I really not know either all right there's a wolf on the right he'll be okay all right we got some copper some food eh, it's okay it's good it's good the bullets cost a lot to make, so I'll take a little extra. Uh, you're a real pain in the ass. You don't know how to bear it. You're a pain in the ass. You're blocking me over and over again. Is that... No, it's potassium. I don't mind fighting for it, but it might be actually iron. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes the glow... Off of the sun, it's, it's really hard to see. There we go. That's potassium for sure. I can see it from a mile. So the other one is probably possibly iron. Damn it. But again, I'd use at least two to three shotgun shells to actually take him down. I don't think it's really worth it. All the, always about cost evaluation, and we have a fridge full of food right now. And I don't think we have to worry about that. One thing we are short on is wood and any other resources we can pick up right now. Fruits, vegetables, we can use that. Uh, we did have a really nice one last episode. We really got some good stuff. Now, the other thing that's cool is if you can find a rogue hunter and watch them fight their way off with these new animal attacks. Now, this is a brand new update that occurred if you didn't, weren't aware of it. Animals do attack now. The hunters. So that is something that you have to look out for all the time. Because, I mean, it's interesting to watch. It's one hell of a game mechanic. It's brand new. I've never seen that in any game, really, where the hunters get attacked randomly. And it could be like, you know, they're just walking around, uh, you know, going to get some wood, and all of a sudden a gunfight breaks out, which is really cool. And there's our two bases. Well, these are two. Look at that chicken just standing there. just asking for it. No, just missed him. He moved right to the left when I did it. Uh, but yeah, look, there we have two outposts, one here, one there. I am trying to avoid it because I want them to build. And I wish they could build a little faster. Um, I shot it. There it is. I knew it was close to the area. 
So, again, avoiding that area profusely. I don't really want to get involved in any kind of gunfights with them. I want them to build. I want to get more stuff. So when I raid them, I can actually... Well, we can get a lot more stuff out of them. We can get more loot, just like we did last time. If we give them more time now, we'll even get better. Oh, wow, that rabbit scared me. I thought it was actually a wolf. Now, there is one option I would like to see in this game, is the... Right now we have the levels on top, and I think it's a giveaway. It definitely would give a dynamic to the game without having to know the leveling of the actual animal. Or how many hit points he has. Wow, that rabbit was going right for him. That's a lot of bears. There's another creep up there. Possibly we can also have problems up here. I've seen rogues up here before. I'm going to keep a lookout. There's a rabbit up there just slowly making his way. That's a harder shot to do because of hillside. And I think he's a little bit off. He's moving. Got him. Some days you can just hit that without any problems with arrows, and some days just shitty. You know, no, no, Koho. I think we talked about that off camera and it's just amazing it is uh it's interesting it's weird to watch sometimes when you get those mega shots and then some days you just can't hit broadside of a barn it's strange i'm not finding those rogues anywhere i'm gonna double check the hillside here i saw a crate back there yes <laughs> but we're gonna double check to see here There's another crate down there. We have to make our way back this way anyway, so let's just double check to see. Uh, they're up here. I knew they had to be around here. If they're not near his side and they haven't been around for a while, they're usually up there, so this could be interesting. All right, some apples. That's nice. We actually need that right now. That's good. Butcher and eat. And we're getting ourselves some cloth, too, which is really nice. Good primo. Now, we could see... I don't see very many bushes. Uh, blueberry bushes. That would, just, would be very helpful right now. And we got blueberry right there. That's okay. We eat one of you. And actually, we'll top ourselves off on our protein. Now, the more I have, the better off my... Well, my stamina is going to last. So, I'll be able to run around a lot more. So, that's why I can run non-stop in this game. As long as I keep myself primed up. Now, I don't want to really mess around with you. I want you guys to get into a gunfight with the animals. Oops. There we go. Just talking about the berries. Oh, he's close by. He's going to attack me. I'll go back for this crate over here. I'll let them do their work. Making sure he's not on us. I'll mix those two. That's good. We'll drink one. Sorry, I'm staring up there at the same time as we we're going for this. I did see a wolf here at one point. I don't know where he went. They do move around. They don't just stay in one location. So they'll roam all over the map. And you can't really judge. I think they're a little more random than they used to be. With a couple of things ago. And I, you really do see the progression of them. Another crate up here, I so, saw. Yeah. It's actually turned out to be a much better location than just going down for one crate, and it was like, wow, look at that. Friggin' Christmas. I see three crates at least. That's a lot of nails, hopefully. We're getting a better view of the uh, rogues as much as we possibly can. We're getting a lot of water too. That's nice. Where's the other crate? I just saw it. Up there. Okay, we're getting close to the rogues though. And there's another crate on that rock over there. And another crate right there. Oh, friggin' Christ. Mega, mega Christmas. Holy crap. I think this is the best amount of loot crates in a row I've ever seen. Was it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five so far. And I think six up here. Is that possible? 
Or is that just a ore that caught my eye? I thought I saw a brown one. Oh, that's it. Well, aren't they cheap? <laughs> and just to kick it off, a little iron. Always feels good. That's nice. That is really, really nice. I should take out my SVT just to make sure. If they do attack, I'll be able to shoot them down. There's another crate up there. Wow, wow, wow. What an area. There is a black bear on the left, I saw. I don't know if I can reach that. It's right in front of him. Yeah, it's pretty darn close to a black bear. Level 3, 2, and there's two crates. Well worthwhile, yes it is. We're going to make ourselves position ourselves a little better. All right, we're ready to go. Here he comes. Perfect shot. Much better with it upgraded. Hopefully they didn't freak out the rogues. That's good. I'll take you. Yeah, definitely the shotgun upgraded just by one notch. Well worthwhile. Still the most profitable area I've seen in a long time. Wow, and a, a sporadic amount of different things too. That's really awesome. That is fucking great. Is there some more on this side? I don't care if it's dark. Actually, I do care. Especially have to walk through the rogues center. Well, we got sidetracked. Uh, but we have to make a run back now. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one steak on my, and then I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna eat you, and we're off to the races. Hopefully we'll make it back in time. I think there's a wolf on the left hand side. Whoops. Ah oh, shit, the rogues have arrived. They're down here. Wow, they come down pretty darn deep. Now blocking me off. They are quite Oh, he's after me. Oh, maybe not. Shit. Is he in his, Is he down here? That's weird. I think it was like bouncing off the rocks. It sounded like someone was down here actually uh, logging. Or building. That's really strange. We're going to head back really quick. There is another crate up there. Wow, this is... Mega, mega loot crate day. Let's get rabbit. You're free today. I, I'm getting everything we need right here. Friggin' you not to kill chickens. We got feathers. That's great. I don't know where we went. I think we went towards a bear. Which I'm not interested in. I do want to get back to my base before it's too late. We didn't interfere with any rogues or hunters today. We didn't get to see a fight or anything, but it's okay. We did see them on the live stream. It was amazing to see. We will see more of them. We will continuously hunt them down to see if we can catch another fight. Which I'm sure we'll catch more than our fair share. Uh, listening out here to make sure there's nothing around like that okay make my way in the back that way we won't get attacked our base is now sealed no one can get in it or out including that bear seems to have an attitude issue we'll open this up I should check out the uh, glow stick again there we go we'll open up our lights Perfect. Whoops. Hey, loot crates out here. Is that what it's trying to tell me? No. No. We do have floodlights that we can turn on here. And it will illuminate on the outside here. Let's double check to see that. How are things doing? We got two, three. We need one here in a sector here. And the cup over here. It's going to cost a fortune. We will need more solar panels, more things. But I am happy we did upgrade all our stuff. I am very happy about that. All right, let's get out here. 
We'll go grab whatever water we can. We've got two more bottles for today. We're about to hit the third one. And you are kind of hungry. Here, I have some, some bars, buddy. Stay steady. Stay alive. People get pissed off if I kill you by mistake. Double checking. <laughs> Alright, it's good. So we actually got everything we needed. We did really, really good. We didn't have to use anything. There's the water just popped out. We didn't have to use any of our resources we really were worried about. That is very, very sweet. All right, guys, we'll leave the episode here. I'm going to put all this stuff away. I won't bore you with it. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate all your support. Again, if you like this series, make sure you uh, you hit the like button. And, and, of course, get a cough field and tell me how you guys are feeling, you know, how your base are doing. I'm always curious to know. So thank you so much. This is the Ezra Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.